Hi, I'm Mr. C, the teacher, and with over 28 years of experience teaching in the public education system, I've specialized in teaching early primary grades, as for children ages 5 to 8. And the lessons I've created here are the same ones I use in my classroom on a daily basis. I've created hundreds of lessons in every possible curriculum area. So grab your tools for school and join in with our lessons, or just sit back and watch along with us. Let's do some learning together, because you're watching Lessons from the Classroom. lesson for math, we're going to take a look at some 3D solids. That means these are shapes that have a top and a bottom, a front and a back and sides to them. We can look all around them. They're not flat like 2D shapes. 2D shapes are things like square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Instead, what we've got are 3D solids, so top, bottom and sides, and there's different ones like the cylinder, the cone, a cube, a rectangular prism, a triangular prism, a sphere, and even shapes like pyramids. Those are 3D solids. We'll learn about their corners, their faces, their sides, their edges. When we look at a 3D solid, can we see different shapes that would be flat shapes? like a square, or a rectangle, for instance, or maybe a circle and a triangle. Let's learn more about 3D solids. So here we have a worksheet on 3D solids. And it says, circle the shapes that have, in this case it wants to know if it has a rectangular face. Do we see a rectangular face on this? No. Do we see a rectangular face on this one? No. Do we see a rectangular face on this? Yes, there's the rectangle. So when I look at these shapes, no, no, Yes, and we're going to circle that one. Rectangular face. This question says, circle the shapes that have a circular face. Do we see a circular face? Yes, we do. Right there. So this cone has a circular face on the bottom, right here. Just like this rectangular prism had a rectangle face right in here, but also on some of the other sides as well. Now, does this cube have a circular face? No. Does this cylinder have a circular face? Yes, it does, right here and also on the other end. So this one's a yes. We have a circular face on the top, as well as one on the bottom, too. This one asks, circle the shapes that have a rectangular face. Well, look at that. There's a rectangular face right there. So we're going to circle this one. And it's got lots of rectangular faces. For example, this side right here. It's a rectangular face. Does this one have a rectangular face? No. How about this one? Does it have a rectangular face? No. A 
bonus question. Circle the shapes that have a triangular face. And we've got a new one here. This is a triangular prism. And let's take a look. Why, yes, we do have a triangular face. So we can circle this one. Because there's the triangular face right there. Does this one have a triangular face? No. And does this one have a triangular face? No. So there's our answers. Here's our next 3D Solids worksheet. It says, which shape is shaded? Circle it. So we're looking at a cube, and we're looking at one shaded side. What shape are we looking at here that's shaded? Is it a circle? Is it a square? Is it a triangle? Or is it a rectangle? This is a square. We're going to circle the square. Next, we're looking at a cone, and the shaded side is this side here. So what shape is that shaded side? Is it a circle? Is it a square? Is it a triangle? Or is it a rectangle? It is a circle. We're going to circle the circle. Next, we're looking at a rectangular prism. And they're saying, look at this shaded side. That would be this shaded side. What shape do we see here? Do we see a circle? A square? A triangle? or a rectangle. What shape do we see that shaded? We see a rectangle. Next, we're looking at a cylinder and they're showing us this shaded in part. What is this shaded in part? What are we looking at? Are we looking at a circle? a square, a triangle, or a rectangle. What is this shaded in part? What shape is this? It is a circle. Again, we're going to circle the circle. Now we're back to our rectangular prism. This time they're showing us this shaded in part this shaded in part. What are we looking at here? What is this shape? Is it a circle? Is it a square? Is it a triangle? Or is it a rectangle? What shape is this shaded in part? This part up here. It is a rectangle. Here we have a worksheet on 3D solids called Edges. It says, faces meet at edges. This face and this face meet on this edge. Shade the edges. How many edges? Let's take a look at this cone. Well, it has an edge that goes around here. But it just has the one edge. One edge. And if I were to shade it, here it is here. Let's 
let's take a look at this rectangular prism. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges. There's twelve edges on this one. And if I were to shade the edges, it would be on all these sides. Even the ones that are behind in this picture, which are shown by dotted lines. Let's take a look at our cube next. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just like our rectangular prism, it has twelve edges. And if we were to shade them, all of these edges again, even the ones shown with dotted lines, which are the ones that are hiding behind, all of these edges need to be shaded in. Let's take a look at the cylinder. It has one, just like the cone, but on the other side has another. Two. One, two. Two edges. Two. Here's one edge. Here's the other edge. Bonus, draw a shape with zero edges. But look at this one, here's the sphere. There are no flat faces that meet anywhere. This sphere is zero edges, so I can draw a circle. Sometimes what I draw is I draw like a little bubble line like that to make it look 3D. Maybe even give it a little shadow down here. Zero edges. So here we have a worksheet on 3D solids and it's called Corners. And it's telling us to draw a dot on the corners and count the corners, and we'll write how many corners it has on this little line. The first one they've done for us is an example. Here's a cone, and the only corner it really has, its pointer, its apex, is right up here. So it just has one. But let's take a look at the next shape, which is the cube. We'll count the corners. There's one, two, three, four, and down here on the bottom, five, six, seven, eight. Eight corners on a cube. Let's draw dots for those corners. One, two, three, four, five, way in the back here, six, seven, eight. There's eight corners. Let's take a look at our rectangular prism here. It has one, two, three, four, and then on the back side of it, it's got another five, six, seven, eight. Eight corners. Let's draw dots on those corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Went on this back corner here behind it. Eight. It has eight corners. Let's take a look at our cone. There are no corners here because it's a round circle. But up here at the apex, it's got a point or a corner. So it's got one. 
1 right up here. We'll write that in as 1. Now down here it says circle the shapes that have zero corners. Well, let's take a look at the cylinder. It doesn't have any corners. That one has zero. We'll circle it. Zero. Here's our cone. Mm, we just talked about that one. It does have one. One corner at the top. Here's our cube. We've talked about that one. That one has a lot of corners. Eight, in fact. Here's a sphere. A sphere is perfectly round. It doesn't have any flat edges. It doesn't have any corners. It has zero. We'll circle this one. And here's our rectangular prism. We counted that one before as well. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight corners, so we won't circle that. There we go. Okay, in this 3D solids worksheet, it says circle all the side views. So the shape we're using is a cube, and we have to figure out what side views we see. So we need to twist the whole thing around. Here I see a square, a square, a square, I put on top, a square, I put on the very bottom, a square. So the one thing with a cube is it's made entirely out of squares. So there's no circles, but I do see squares, no triangles, and no rectangles. Okay, the next shape we're using is a cone. So when I look at all sides, I see a shape here. And I also see a shape on the bottom. So when I look at my choices, I see a circle. I don't see any squares, but I do see a triangle. And I don't see any rectangles. Let's take a look at our next shape. Here we've got a cylinder. When I look at the cylinder from this side, I can see a circle. And when I look at this cylinder from this side, I can see a square. But I don't see a triangle, and I don't see a rectangle. Here's a different cylinder, much taller one. So when I look at this cylinder, from this side, I do see a circle. When I look at it from this side, I don't see a square, and I don't see a triangle. But look carefully here. I see a rectangle both a circle and a rectangle. This time I've got a sphere. That's like a round ball. Do I see a circle? Yes. Do I see a square? No. Triangle? No. Rectangle? No. Our bonus one is a rectangular prism. When I look at the rectangular prism from this side, and when I look at it from this side, what do I see? Do I see a circle? No. Do I see a square? Yes, I do. Do I see a triangle? No. Do I see a rectangle? Yes, 
I do. Okay, we have our 3D solids worksheet here. It's called, What Do They See? Circle the shape that they see. So here's the person's face looking at the shape, and we have to figure out what shape they see. Let's take a look at this first one. It's the cylinder. But when they're looking at the cylinder, they're actually looking at it this angle. What shape do we see here? Do we see a square? Or do we see a triangle? This person is seeing actually this square shape. So we're going to circle that one. Let's look at the next one. Again, it's the cylinder. But this time the person is looking at it at this end. So what we're seeing is this. What shape do we see here? Do we see a circle or a square? What we see is the circle. Okay, here's the next shape that this person is looking at. They're looking at a cube. And they're looking at it straight on like this. What shape are they seeing? Are they seeing a rectangle or a square? They're seeing a square. Okay, this time the person is looking at a rectangular prism and they're looking at it straight on. So they're seeing this shape. What shape are they looking at? A square, a rectangle, or a triangle. They're looking at a rectangle. Here's our last one. The person is looking at a sphere. When they look at it straight on, what shape do they see? They see a circle, a triangle, or a square. They see a circle. Here we have a 3D solids worksheet. And down the center, we have 3D solids, cylinder, cube, cone, sphere, rectangular prism, and triangular prism. And on both sides, we have real life items that we've got to match to it. They've done the first one for us here. Our sphere matches a tennis ball, which is also a sphere. And our sphere can also match to an orange. Let's take a look at our cylinder though. What can that match to? So our cylinder matches to a can. And our cylinder can also match to what looks like maybe a, a log or something here, a piece of wood. Our cube can match to a present. And a cube could also match to this die, one piece from a set of dice. Hey, here we go, we've got a cone, and this cone can match to the party hat down here. And this cone could also match to, well, an ice cream cone. Here we have our sphere, which we match to this orange, as well as this tennis ball, but oh, look at this. There's also a match to what looks like this planet. Maybe it's our moon. So this rectangular prism, well, it matches, hmm, nothing on that side. 
And on this side, oh, we've got a Kleenex box. Oh, well, look, also a cereal box. Yeah, and then we have a triangular prism. And in this case, it's going to match up here what looks like a tent for camping in. And on this side, looks like that might be some kind of chocolate bar or something right there. Now we've matched our 3D solids to real life items. Thanks for joining me today in our lesson. Hope to see you again soon. I hope you had some fun, worked on some new skills, and maybe learned something new as well. Join me next time on another episode of Lessons from the Classroom. Bye for now. For some more great videos by Mr. C, the teacher, go to Google and do a search for Mr. C's full name, Chris Castellarin, under YouTube. So type in Chris Castellarin YouTube, and you'll find plenty more videos.